you're probably wondering where on earth I've been. I guess I, I should start by saying why I haven't been vlogging in the first place. And I guess the primary reason is that I just didn't want the scrutiny anymore. Whether they're positive comments or negative comments, it was just kind of like, I just needed a break from people commenting on the things that I was doing in the videos. At some point, it just came to be where I was like, I don't want any feedback on what I'm doing. I don't want to be scrutinized. I don't want anybody to tell me what they think about what I'm doing. And my mother and I were putting up this plastic wrap, right? And I was doing something and she was just watching me do it. And I was just like, can you please just stop watching what I'm doing and just go do something else? And I think that that feeling was just kind of like bubbling over where I was like, I'm putting myself out there and I'm just tired of being looked at. So I want to vlog and I want to share, but I also just I think I need to just stop reading comments because it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. It's just the act of constantly getting feedback on what I'm doing. It's like if I was like just walking around and somebody's following me the whole time. This is what it feels like. I'm walking around, somebody's following me the whole time. I'm like, oh, you could do that better, you know? Oh, you know, if you didn't crumple your toilet paper or you folded yeah. your toilet, and I'd just be like, okay! You know, I was just thinking. If, I fold, by the way. But. I crumple, by the way. If YouTube never had a comment section, and people could just watch your video or yeah. not watch it, not even hit like or not like. Yeah, yeah. How much, you could tell how many people were viewing it. You could tell if it was being viewed, if that mattered to you. But you didn't have that right on there. Or if You someone... can do that. That's what I've been contemplating, but it also feels wrong somehow. It makes it less alive that people can't comment on it. But at the same time, if the comments are causing me stress, it, it's not even like it's negative comments. There's no negative comments, like very rarely. It's been, well, I'm not, Venture Arc has plenty of negative comments, but my vlog, it's just pe mostly just people who want to watch. But it's just the scrutiny of it is still getting to me. To where I'm like, and I kind of, maybe I should do that. Just make it no comments, no likes or dislikes, and just put it out there. And just be like, yeah. this is an at-will employment situation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Yes. Yeah. Well, you got it exactly right, because it means you, you can work for them if you want to. You don't have to. You don't want to. They can employ you if they want to, but they don't have to. The, I think the, the thing that then is missing is part of why people watch vlogs and comment is because of the connection they're making with another right. human being right, or right, other right. human beings. And when you take that away, it goes kind of out into the ethos with no possibility of, yeah. of, of getting a two-way connection. Yeah. Doesn't mean that it won't do something for people. Like, like you're sharing your gift. Well, it's kind of like me when I, when I give a gift and somebody gives me a thank you note. I kind of feel like I got to give one back. Yeah, I would yeah. just assume, like, you told me thank you when I gave it to you. That, that's plenty. Yeah. And that, not exactly the same, but I think there's a little bit of that out there. Yeah, and also, I I have made actual friends from people who have watched the vlog and we've met in real life. So it seems like that's a big waste to cut off that opportunity, future opportunities yeah. like that. Yeah. I think the, the thing that is the best thing about it now is that that you know this is an issue for you and you and, and it's and been it's, an issue my whole life though but go ahead no but i mean now that maybe this is the time that you are adult enough and aware enough to start really examining why that is and you know fix or not fix it but at least it's not just you know bees buzzing in your ear all the time yeah. it's it's something that you know is an issue for you and but i mean it's been an issue for so long now <laughs> That like I'm like, I, maybe this is another t uh, milestone or something, but just like this inability of mine to, for people to say what they're gonna say, and just for me to be like, okay, yep, cool, I'll take this as I will or I won't take it. It's like I know rationally that's what I should be doing, but for some reason there's grooves in my brain that just are trained to accept criticism, not even criticism, but just constantly listen to what people have to say and just take it as gospel and not be like. Okay, yes or okay, no. Well, you know what? When you when you ask for a solution, the best way to get the solution is to get practice. It's true. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> but I mean, I feel like I've been practicing. Maybe I haven't been. No, practicing. you haven't been practicing yeah. because I think it is. I think you are just now at the point where you're realizing that it's 
it's, I think you've always looked at it before as negative comments, but now you're just, you're put, you're putting yourself out there all the time for, for viewing by people. And if you think human beings are going to view something without either saying it's good yeah. or bad or indifferent, <laughs> you're insane. Yeah. Cause like the, I was saying that earlier, like it's the most obvious thing in the world that somebody is going to want to comment. Yeah. If you put something out there and give somebody the ability to comment, I want to comment. Other people, well, I mean, not everybody does, but yeah, it's a yeah. natural thing to get a comment. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the it's that connection. It's the two way. It's the two way street. And since we clearly don't meet very many people in real life, unless you've got a job that puts you in front of new people all the time, you know, this is the way people do it now. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I think you've never practiced it as just neutral, like like every comment is just neutral. It's not good, it's not bad, it's, it's, you've always, at least when you've complained about it before, it's usually this gets started when someone says something negative. Yeah. Or someone tells you what we were talking about a while ago, someone tells you what you should do. That's the big one. Yeah, that's the, the big negative one. ones, they fall off pretty quickly because yeah. I'm just like, there's no merit in that. Yeah. Um, but the ones that, well, but everybody does it. You know, you paint your room yellow and somebody comes in and they'll go, oh, that yellow looks really nice. Orange would look good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I think that's, that's the thing that, that you've not been able to go, oh, you know what? That isn't what I'm doing. That's, that's not what I want. Yeah. Now, that's a perfectly valid thing to say. It's not what I want to do. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully that makes some amount of sense. I hope I'm not just sounding like a baby and like just grow up, get a thicker skin. If it does sound like that, I invite you to make a video every day for four years and get feedback on the things you've done throughout your day. And then uh, see how that makes you feel. <laughs> like I can't imagine the people who actually get like significant numbers of views on their videos. Like people who get millions of views on their videos every day, like your Casey Neistats and your Roman Atwoods and whatnot. I don't know how you could keep your sanity and read comments too. Imagine knowing what people think about you. There's usually a layer of like, people aren't gonna tell you certain things face to face, but then you strip away one layer when you go through text and you strip another layer away when you go through the internet. So you get kind of like a more of a picture than what you would get from like real life interactions. So here's my plan. I'm gonna start vlogging again because I really like the act of vlogging. We'll see how it goes and I think I'm just not gonna read comments as often. Maybe I'll just read them once a month or once every two weeks. Certainly not every day because that's not healthy for anybody's brain to read feedback all the time. So anyways, Back to the regular vlog fair, laundry. And also let me be clear that you guys didn't do anything wrong by commenting. I think this is probably mostly a me problem. You take somebody like myself, who's overly concerned with what people think about them, about him. And then he puts himself out on the internet for people to say what they think about him. I almost kind of wonder if I keep putting myself out there as kind of like an exposure therapy to try and get myself to stop worrying about what people say that I should be doing. Because that's usually what it boils down to. I'm just kind of like John Locke. I'm just like, don't tell me what I can't do. Although it's usually, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Not so much what I can't do. So don't be discouraged to comment or whatnot. I'll definitely be checking the comments of this video. And maybe I'll take a break from checking comments afterwards. And maybe one day, I'll just be able to take what people say and leave it at that. Also, I don't want to make this a bigger deal than it is because it's really not that big of a deal. I just need a break from the vlog, taking a break from the vlog. Life goes on. So does the laundry. <laughs> Although, if you want, I could still make one of those classic YouTube videos where somebody's sitting in front of the camera and they go, Whew. and you know, it's like very fake and stuff.
And by if you want, I mean I will definitely not make one of those. <laughs> no, the best you're getting is me doing laundry. You already know you're gonna get some fingernail clippings. So I got a couple of new things. This on top of here is the XLR adapter for the GH5. It connects with the hot shoe. And what this does is I don't really need it for the XLR mics, but I need it for cleaner preamps. At least that was the hope. And also a higher bit rate so that I can do more adjusting in post. I've got a couple of big shoots coming up and I need to be able to record two people talking at once. So I can do this, I've got little adapters where I can plug in the Rode mic. It goes to eighth of an inch to XLR, but this thing works really well. It's nice and compact. I got it for $300, which is a pretty decent price. So I'm happy enough with it, but we need to test it before my shoots. Okay, so I guess the first thing to test is having this mic at zero, that mic at zero, both of these gain knobs at zero. Okay, now I have both mics set to plus 20. I turn down the preamps on the XLR adapter itself. Does it sound any cleaner? Anyways, I just need to make sure this all works, make sure there's no feedback going on. Should be good to go. That's the type of clean sound that I've always loved. And I always wanted to get like a really nice audio recorder. It's just, I don't like external audio and having to sync later. This thing makes it just get super clean audio right into the mic. It's great. Eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that there's something different about the camera I've been shooting with. I'm currently shooting with the GH5, but in my hands is the Sony a7 III. I finally could not shoot with my a7S II anymore. It just did not work well enough. Screen was broken. It was just a nightmare to shoot with. The focusing was just so hard to do. This thing got touchscreen focus, perfect autofocus, great full screen look, still really good noise performance. I was able to sell my a7S II for almost $700, which for the state that that thing was in, that's great news. And I wanted to wait for the a7S III, but I just could not wait any longer because I got those big shoots coming up. So I got this. And man, it is a fantastic camera. The buttons are so much better. Oh God, thank you. If they could just add a flip screen, come on, son. Okay, now I'm very close to being late for my class, so I gotta go. Not gonna be late, but gonna be literally exactly on time. I've got 10 minutes. It takes less than 10 minutes to get there. I should be fine. I hope. Okay, that was a good class. Pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Oh man! You know, funny thing happened today. If you don't know the story behind these AirPods, I bought these and then I really wanted my mother to clean her section of the garage. So I traded her my AirPods for her cleaning her section of the garage. She did it and ever since then, I've regretted it. <laughs> but today I was like, okay, I'm just getting the AirPods. But I was like, but I should probably wait for the AirPods too. And then literally, this very same day, they announced the AirPods too. Unfortunately, not a huge upgrade. I don't really care about wireless charging, although that, that is convenient, but nonetheless, it's time. That's gonna do it for today's vlog. I probably won't see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll see you the day after. In any case, thank you for watching. I'll see you then. <laughs>